Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at Lee Summit West at one of their practices. Who do we have here? Devin Cole. Hey Devin, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. What grade you in? What position you play? How long you been playing ball? I am a senior. Uh, I run point guard and I've been playing basketball for about 11 to 13 years. You play in the summertime? Yes. What team you play for? I played for a few teams. Top City, Kansas City, uh, Kansas City Keys, and the JC Hoops. Who you played for last summer? Um, Top City, Kansas City. What kind of summer did you have? Um, at the beginning, the summer was kind of slow and draggish. Um, we didn't really know each other as a team. But uh, as the season went on, we got to know each other better, and we started winning championships. How do you think that helped you get ready for uh, the season, 215-216 high school season? It, it prepared me for uh, the physical and mental uh, aspects of the game, such as uh, people pushing on me and talking in the game. Did, did, did you work on the, uh, the weight room this summer? Oh, yes. How important is that in your overall program? Um, in the program, we really don't really focus on weights. We really focus on the game itself as a whole. But um, really, if you want to do weights, you either join a weight program during uh, school season. How tall are you? I am 5'8". Five 5'8". Five are you a starter? No. no. Are you coming off the bench? Yes. How hard is it coming off the bench? Um, and keeping your head in the game while uh, your teammates play? Um, it's not really that hard once we're locked into the game. Because the coach expects us to be locked in. All of us on the bench to be jumping up, cheering for our teams and all that. So when he tap you, you already know what's going on on the floor. You're not in yeah. a daydream. How important is education to you? Highly important. Uh, tell us a little bit about your education. What kind of grade points you running around with? Um, my education right now, my GPA right now is a 3.0. I wish it was higher, but that's, that's not bad. That's not nothing to turn your head and <laughs> nose down. Uh, what changes uh, in your game from your freshman year to now? Talk about your progression to where you're at now. Um, starting my freshman year. I matured more definitely. But, In which uh, ways? Mentally and physically. All uh, right. Um, that freshman year, I wasn't able to shoot any type of jump shot at all. Now I'm able to knock down a three whenever it's needed, and or hit a free throw. And uh, also freshman year, I really couldn't handle the ball as well as I could. I was always turning the ball over off the dribble. And now I feel like I'm strong enough to take on anybody. Uh, on a one to ten. How do you feel your ball handling skills are? I would say seven right now. About a seven? Yeah. I'll e say improvement. Excellent. Uh, what do you feel are the best features of your game? The best feature of my game is defense. Defense? Yeah. I, am known, I am known as a defensive stopper. Uh, you have a red light lockdown D? Yeah. Uh, How's your season going thus far? Your personal season? Oh, it's going great. Oh, I would like to see more minutes, but I'm in it for the best of the team, not for me. How important do you think it is to have your student body and your administration behind you? I think it's very important to show support to the team. That helps us get into the game better, get into the game more. How about family? And family's the most important thing. Important? Yeah. Uh, you'd like to give a shout out? Yeah, I like to shout out to my mom for always being there, always pushing me through the hard times, and never letting me go down or quit or anything when I'm down by myself. That, that's excellent. Shout out to mom from Cascade Sports. Uh, pleasure having you on the show, and we look forward to uh, covering one of your games before the season's out. All right. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.